I'm jumping jubilantly for June. So hi everyone, welcome back to another video. It is June and school is out for the month. So one of the most special occasions in June would be Father's Day. Hence, today I would like to share with you three fun ways to use English to show appreciation for the father figures in our lives. When we want to show appreciation, we may want to write a note or a card. So there are many interesting ways to do so. The first way is to craft an acrostic poem. Have you heard about acrostic poems? Well, they are simply poems that um, spell out a word using the first letter of each line of the poem. So in this short example here, the poem would spell out the word dad. And the poem would sound like this. Dedicated, amazing, and totally dependable. So, how do we create an acrostic poem? It's simple. Follow these five steps here. Number one, think of a word that you want to use. So for Father's Day, we may want to use the word Father, Daddy, your father's name, or even the phrase Thank you. Step two, write the word down vertically. Step three, think of words or phrases that you want to fill your poem with and that fit the letters of each line. Step 4, write these words or phrases next to the letter um, in your poem. And finally, if you realise that you've not managed to fill in every line in your poem, you can actually um, think of more interesting lines to help complete it. In my example today, I will use the word father. So I will write it down vertically. As I'm trying to thank my father, I may want to fill in my acrostic poems with reasons for why I want to thank him. So looking at my acrostic poem here, I have filled in the lines for the letters A, T, H and E. Now, do you notice that I didn't fill in any words or phrases for the letter F and the letter R? Okay. Now, it's totally okay if you can't think of a word or a phrase um, for every single letter in your acrostic poem. So just fill in as many as you can and then complete the rest of the letters with lines that help to make your poem a complete one. So my final acrostic poem would look like this. Father, thank you for always being there for me, teaching me skills, having the biggest heart, expecting nothing and giving me everything. Really, you are the best dad ever. So I hope you have fun creating your own acrostic poem. The second way to use English creatively is to craft your own tongue twisters. Tongue twisters are phrases or sentences that are very hard to say quickly because they are made up of words with very similar pronunciation. Listen to me mangle this famous tongue twister. She sells seashells by the seashore. The seashells, she, she sells, actually seashells. <laughs> Although tongue twisters are very hard to pronounce, they are very fun ways to help bring your ideas across. So today, let us learn how to craft our own tongue twisters to celebrate our fathers. The simplest way of crafting a tongue twister is to use alliteration. Alliteration is when the words in a sentence all have the first consonant sound. So in order to craft our tongue twisters, what you just need to do is to pick one consonant sound. A consonant is a letter other than A, E, I, O, U. Step 2. Think of as many words as you can that begin with that letter. Step 3. Try to think of words that fall under nouns, verbs, adjectives or adverbs categories. This is so that you can form a sentence easily later. Step 4. Form a phrase or a sentence using as many of the words that you have thought of as possible. So to describe my dad, I thought of as many words as I could that begin with the consonant D. And this table here summarizes some of the words I thought of. Seeing the words that I've brainstormed, I will pick some of them and form a sentence with them. The tongue twister that I came up with is Daily, daring that daringly deals with dangerous denizens, dazzling his dear daughter dearly. Of course, my tongue twister is just one example out of many. You can create a tongue twister for your father based on any consonants that you can think of. So have fun and create. 
Now, so far, I've shared with you two ways of using English creatively to write something for our fathers. Now, before I share the third one with you, let me tell you a joke. And the joke goes like this. Why is the mushroom always invited to parties? The answer is because he's a fun guy! Now, do you realize that there was a word play on the words fun guy? I replaced fun guy with a similar sounding word, fun guy. So, what I've just shared is actually a pun. And this brings me to the third and final way that I'm going to share with you today. You could also write an interesting note or card to your father by including puns inside your note. A pun is the humorous use of a word or phrase that has several meanings or has a similar sounding word. For example, bangai is a similar sounding word for bangai. Hence, I could use it in a line that says, Dad, you are such a fungi, meaning fungi. There are many ways to create puns, but one of the simplest is to use similar sounding words to replace an original word from your sentence. To create a pun like that, you can follow these steps. Number one, think of a word you want to use. Number two, think of a similar sounding word. Number three, replace the original word with a similar sounding word. Let me give you another example of a pun. For example, I may want to say to my dad, You are such a fun guy, dad. I have so much room in my heart for you. So in these two lines, I would want to replace the words fun guy with a similar sounding word, fun guy, and the words much room with a similar sounding word, mushroom. So why did I pick them? That's because fungi and mushroom fall under the same category and when used together, they can make your sentence sound even funnier. So my final sentence would look like this. You are such a fun guy that I have so much room in my heart for you. Another example would be, let us celebrate you today that I love you from my head to my toes. So in these two lines, I could replace let us with lettuce, as in the vegetable, and to my toes with tomatoes. Again, I chose these two phrases because lettuce and tomatoes also fall under the same category. And my final sentences would sound like this. Let us celebrate you that I love you from my head Tomatoes. Today, I'm going to provide you with some helping words that can help you to create your own puns. Take a look at this table here. For example, you may want to say thank you to your dad for being such a great dad. So think of a similar sounding word to great. It could be great or grip. And the puns would go like this. I'm not trying to be cheesy, but I think you are great. Or, thank you for being such a great dad. Another one that's very easy to use is the phrase do not. And it can be replaced with the word donut. And your note to your dad may go like this. I do not know what I would do without you. To make your pun even clearer, you could even draw pictures related to it so that your dad can appreciate your wit. So we've now come to the end of the video and today we learned three creative ways to show appreciation using English and that is to craft an acrostic poem, to craft your own tongue twisters or to include puns in your notes. So I hope you have a great holiday with your loved ones and see you in the next video. Bye!